Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to fix if you're getting an error message for EA Play, and it's actually the invalid license account. Um, so if you're getting something pop up like this when you're trying to open up games on EA Play, uh, there is a bit of a fix that you can try. So if this video does help you out today, then please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So with the EA desktop app, it's actually in beta version still. Um, so there is still a few bugs that need to be fixed on it. Uh, but if you're trying to load up a game and you're getting a message that looks like this, where it says invalid license, uh, we're sorry, an error has occurred. What you're going to want to do is first of all open up the EA Games folder. So you can normally locate this if you go down to the search bar and type uh, my computer or this PC. And then what you want to do is open up the app called this PC under best match. And then from here what you're going to want to do is go into your C drive down here. And then program files. And then you want to look for the EA Games folder. Uh, which is as you can see here So I've actually got two games installed uh, Command and Conquer and The Sims 3 uh, But the process works on any game that you're experiencing this problem on What you're going to want to do is find the game that you're having an issue with opening and go ahead and open up the folder So I'm going to go into The Sims 3 for this one and then what you're going to want to do is actually reinstall DirectX. So this is actually like a third party application which manages a lot of the uh, texture files and registry files for that game. So what you want to do is normally, uh, it can be in different places, but it's normally once you've opened up the game, it's going to be either in the installer folder or the actual game folder itself. So what I'm going to do is go into the installer. And you'll see we've got a folder there called DirectX. So I'm just going to double click onto that. And then go into this one which says uh, redistribute redistrib that. R-E-D-I-S-T. So just double click to go into there. And then you'll see the DX setup program here. And what you're going to want to do is just run that to uh, basically reinstall DirectX. So you're just going to go ahead and accept the permission that comes up. And you, it should something like this uh, welcome to set up for DirectX so what you want to do is accept the agreement and just run through the installation like so takes a moment or two just to go through and what should happen once that's finished if you try and load up the game again what's going to happen it would have reinstalled something called the .dll files which are third party um, or to do with like running the textures and things like that for the game uh, sometimes, as I say, it doesn't install all the textures due to um, the EA desktop app still being in a beta version. It's a bug that's quite common with the app at the moment. But if you go ahead and run this through, you'll see it just takes a minute or two and it says components installed are now ready for use. So we can just go ahead and click finish. And then all you're going to want to do is come to the EA app. And then uh, basically go into uh, my collection where your games will be installed. You can see I've got The Sims 3 there. And then if you go ahead and click that and then click the play button, uh, it should load up, no problems. If you're still experiencing a problem, what you'll need to do is try uninstalling and reinstalling the game. Uh, if that doesn't fix it, then what you're going to need to do is report that back to EA so they can look into it. And to report that to EA, you just need to go onto their website and open up a ticket. Uh, so there'll be a section called support, which you go into and you can message uh, EA from there. But you can see I've got the game launcher up for The Sims 3. And then quite simply, if I click the play button, it should now open and start playing without that error message. But I hope that did help you out today. And if that did help, then please leave a like on the video. Uh, don't forget to drop a comment saying this helped you out and if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related